Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. If you're new, all that stuff. Let's just cut to it. Just pulled these out of the fridge to show you. I got some yellow organic ginger. I'm gonna try some different recipes and ways of preserving this. Um, I have some organic carrots. I got 20 pounds of yellow flush peaches. I'm going to be making some peach jam, some peach preserves. I have a really good homemade barbecue recipe or homemade barbecue sauce recipe. And the secret ingredient is half a cup of um, peach preserves. So I'm going to do that as well as some different peach um, desserts as well. Hopefully I could take you along for a canning video of how I do my peach jam and peach preserves just to help um, people out who are wanting to learn how to can right now. This is 20 pounds of, I blocked out my information because I don't want everyone knowing exactly where I'm at. Um, but if I make um, pear chips out of these, they're just as delicious as apple chips. They're really good. Um, the kids love them. I have an Excalibur 9 tray dehydrator and I love it. We do pear chips. We just ran out um, of the ones that I did last year. So I'm going to use these for that. I'm also going to make some pear butter, some maple bourbon pear butter and can that and hope to take you along. Um, so I can kind of teach you guys, anyone who doesn't know how to do it. And if you do know how to do it, then you have a free recipe to try. If you haven't had maple bourbon pear butter before, it's pretty tasty. Over here, I got some Sweet Creek organic enchilada red sauce. I usually make our enchilada sauce homemade. This is something new I'm trying. Um, I usually get our sauce at Walmart. And when I was cycling through my pantry the other day, I noticed it has bioengineered ingredients in it. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. So they kind of snuck it right in there and I didn't realize it. And now that I've realized it, I'm like, okay, we're going to try something different. I mean, this, you know, the ingredients are pretty clean. It's yeah, they're pretty clean. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And so is the one that I make homemade, but you know, sometimes it's just easy to crack open a jar and just pour it and not have to do all the steps and measuring and dishes, just making some enchilada sauce. Over here, we have some diced green chilies. Um, I'm gonna try to pronounce that, La Preferita diced green chilies. So it's 12 of them for, they're four ounces each. Um, we usually get ours from Sam's Club in bulk, but this was just a little bit more in price. Um, I'll explain that after why I'm kind of switching things over um, and trying to switch what I can to Azure Standard. We have some Farmer's Market Organic Pumpkin Puree. This is something I really enjoy making my own pumpkin puree and buying the pie pumpkins and you know toasting the pumpkin seeds. And I still plan on doing that and my kids love it. It's a fun experience for them too to do that as well. But um, for convenience, you know, I make, um, pumpkin spiced cookies with a really yummy glaze. I do spiced pumpkin breads, pumpkin pies, pumpkin pancakes, all kinds of pumpkin things going on. I hope to share some recipes um, for the pumpkin bread and the cookies and stuff. They are high altitude approved. They'll work, you know, below uh, below our altitude, but it's really hard when you live <laughs> We moved from Florida. We're not originally from Florida, but we both met in Florida and we moved from Florida and it is a totally different ball game when you are at a high altitude for baking. Everything falls flat. Everything sinks in the middle. Everything's undercooked. Like everything's just off completely. And I've had to change in over eight years. I finally found ways to perfect my recipes that I enjoy so I don't have to switch to other people's recipes and we can continue using what, you know, recipe works for us. So here I bought organic cane sugar. It is a 55 pound bag, a little bit better choice than buying the sugar, the refined sugar from Sam's Club. I don't know what the brand is that I usually buy. It's just a basic refined sugar. So I feel a little bit better making this swap um, from that sugar. It's a little bit more in price, but trying to, trying to make good choices. Um, you know, I'm not completely 
well, I won't get into that right now. I just, we're, we're trying to make better choices for our family as long as it's not like three, four times the price because then that's just crazy for the amount that we need to accommodate our size family. So um, I buy our chicken feet, the Scratch and Peck brand. I love this. You can also get it at Jack's. We have a Jack's. I don't know. We also have Tractor Supply, but Jack's is another farm and ranch store. And they sell this. This is more on the pricier side. A lot of the times I'll get the Demora brand from Tractor Supply. My chickens do fine with that. I know this year it's just worth it to me. So this is just the organic layer. 40 pound bag. I have a couple bags of these in the garage. I didn't feel like bringing them all up because, you know, why carry over 100 pounds extra, you know, when you already have a bag up here. So we did buy a couple bags of this. Um, this one is the naturally free of soy. I didn't really pay much attention to that. They also have like free of corn and different, different types. I'm not too picky on that. I just always try to get the organic layer feed. Um, I think it's like I don't know, 16 or 18% protein, but this is a really good brand. I have not had a problem with it. We've had chickens for over four years and all of them seem to do well on it. And uh, yeah, so that I am really happy about is they have the Dr. Bronner's Castile soaps. I'm really thankful for that because we get them usually um, from a mix between Walmart and Sam's Club. And if I can get as many products of the things we use from Azure instead and just like kind of get everything, you know, like chicken feed and produce and cleaning products and all the other things. Um, I'd rather just make one trip. Um, you know, Sam's club, I'm still going to have to do Sam's club orders for the things I wouldn't pay the price for at Azure. Um, just because we need so much of it in bulk, but I'm going to try and switch, you know, like I said, what I can. So they have the Dr. Bronner's Castile soaps. I also take our hand pumps. Um, our soap hand pumps and they're like the foaming ones and I'll fill them up with some distilled water about three quarters of the way and put in about two tablespoons of these and you can actually make your own refill and just do that I've been doing that for ages and this I actually bathe our dogs in we have four dogs and four cats so they get baths with this um, when they need them over here we have toilet bowl cleaner and this stuff, it's all plant-based, so I'm just, you know, like I said, trying to swap products um, to reach our minimum. So this is new, toilet bowl cleaner, pine fragrance. You can't go wrong with that. I love the smell of pine, so I'm happy about that. They were out of the Charlie's um, soap brand for, um, like, stain eliminator, so I just went ahead and picked this up from Azure. It's stain and odor eliminator, and like I said, we have dogs, so as you can see on the bottom designed to digest pet stains and odors. Um, not mask odors. That's great because, you know, who really wants to cover it up with a Band-Aid? You kind of want to get rid of the problem. And so I'm really happy to use that um, as well. So we have that in the meantime. And then, you know, I didn't know when the other one would be back in stock. I feel like towards the fall and winter, things start disappearing. Um, everyone kind of, you know, wants to stock up before the winter and so I topped us off and got the refill, the big jug as well. I think this is probably a gallon, I'm to assume. It doesn't say on it, but it's it's probably a gallon um, over here. So this is new. I'm doing cheeses from them now. This is Colby Jack, and it's got a pretty, let's see, it has no sell-by date, but from what I was told by Azure, it's about two months out, so whatever I don't use, I'll freeze. Um, I got shredded Parmesan. This has a sell-by of December 1st, and today's October 3rd. When this video will get out, I don't know. <laughs> this is all new to me, so I'm going to try and get it out as quickly as possible. But this is a big thing of shredded Parmesan. Um, I make, you know, a lot of things homemade, and we do homemade pizza and wings and salad every other Friday, um, you know, and lasagnas and... A bunch of pasta dishes so anyway have that I'll freeze what I don't use on time these I actually make my own bagels and hopefully I can get a video out on that and it's great and I love it and they taste so much better fresh um but in a pinch you know when you're trying to get your homeschool day rolling and you forgot to do something the night before um I try prepping our breakfast the night before but it doesn't always happen so for convenience I got 
three packages of the their Alvarado Streets um, sprouted wheat everything bagels. And there are six in a pack. So we have 18 of those. And then I also got same brand, but cinnamon raisin. So there's three of those as well. And over here, um, I want to see the date because I get in bulk the lemon juice from Sam's Club and I'm not really pleased with how far the date is. Okay. This I will definitely be buying from them. This is best by June 27th, 2024. That's incredible. Um, the Sam's Club ones have much less of a shelf life and they're not organic or anything like that. Um, anyway, I use the lemon juice mainly for canning. Um, so you don't really want expired stuff, um, you know, when you're canning. And I get it, you know, some things can go past a best by date. Um, a lot of things can, but lemon juice is one that you really don't want to use too far past. Um, I've researched all that stuff really well. And so I'll be getting um, the Lakewood Organic pure lemon juice um, from now on from Azure. Here's some little treats, things I don't usually get. Um, my kids love gum in the car. I actually have three that get pretty car sick and we have a lot of trips we have to make. And um, because we live about an hour away from everything, we have a lot of traveling to do between kids' braces appointments down the hill and all our dentists are down the, I'm just going to say down the mountain, down the hill sounds probably really stupid to you guys. Um, since everything's down the mountain, we like to just, you know, keep things like this and motion sickness medicine in my car. Um, well, not my car because of the bears, but you know what I mean? Like very easy throw in your purse and leave. So I'm going to try, I mean, like I usually get the five gum and I get it in bulk from Sam's club, but this is a lot better for you. There's no, um, aspartame in it. It's xylitol sweetened and it's supposed to be a lot better for you. It's a dental defense system, natural cinnamon, sugar-free, you know, it, it just sounds like it's better for you. So I went ahead and got that instead. Mommy, okay, one. Um, sorry, my daughter's wanting peaches. Not a lot because I need, no, not one for everybody because I got a can. Okay. Let, hey, honey. Um, because we're coming up on the holidays, I feel like I never have twine on hand. So I actually bought, I think it was only a couple dollars, some certified organic unbleached kitchen twine. This is going to be my guilty pleasure. I love chocolate and caramel. Um, that's my favorite combo, but this sounded really good. And I'm like, okay, it's good for you. <laughs> I can, I really have no self-control when it comes to chocolate and caramel or, you know, just toffee. I love toffee. Um, so anyway, so this is Taza chocolate toffee bar with almond and sea salt, organic dark chocolate. I know that's an acquired taste. I'm really trying to acquire myself to it because I know it's better for you. Um, so that's my little guilty pleasure. I'm going to hide this. I don't know if we're going to get these. I think it was like eight or $9 for this little bag. Um, I usually get our chocolate chips, just Sam's club, Nestle brand. Um, I, that makes sense to me with how much baking and stuff we do. Um, so would I buy these again? I don't know. They have to be really good for this price for me to buy them again. And I would probably buy in bulk, but Lily's, so it's less sugar, sweet life, chocolate, salted caramel flavor. That won me over it. That's why I got these, um, Stevia sweetened. So they're baking chips. I figured, you know, with the holidays, it's just a little treat, you know, to have in the house and give it a try. Um, but they have, you know, of course a recipe on there. I'll probably do my own because we're at high altitude and I don't trust any recipes out of cookbooks or the internet. Um, because I've had a lot of failures and a lot of waste because they're not high altitude friendly. These are dark chocolate covered espresso beans. We have a Ziggy's, um, about 20 minutes from us and they always give you the chocolate covered espresso beans, which I love. Um, so I figured, well, <laughs> we have an espresso machine ourselves. I'm just going to buy these. I do enjoy eating these. Um, and I am a night owl. So, you know, just something, something to snack on and keep this mama going. So dark chocolate covered espresso beans. This is new. This is something I'm going to try my hand at. Um, flu season, cold season. Um, you know, we have 
we have a lot, we have a lot of kids and I don't, you know, shelter them. We're not in a bubble during the winter as much as I'd really like to be. Sometimes nobody likes taking care of sick kids. Um, so this is whole elderberries and, um, I'm going to try making my own elderberry syrup. I'll take you along and, um, let you know how it turns out, but that is going to be new for me. So, ooh. I'm going to actually rotate this. I don't like angle. I don't like the wide angle I'm getting, so I'm actually going to rotate. Um, this is something different I have not tried. Tallow premium cooking fat. It's 100% um, grass-fed beef. This is just something I want to I want to try. Um, I usually get huge vegetable and olive oils in bulk from Sam's. They, you know, have like the two pack. It makes sense with our size family. A, a lot of why I just stick to Sam's Club, honestly, is just the amount that we need and the price. But I am trying to be more mindful and trying to see, you know, where we can cut corners to try out some more healthier things. Um, these are frozen dark sweet cherries. I've bought these so many times. Love them. I can um, cherries in syrup. I can cherries in syrup. Um, I can those for like when I make homemade cheesecake. Like I said, recipes coming. It's amazing. Um, and I use that as a topping. Um, I also have tried dehydrating. I didn't like it because I felt like they kind of had moisture in it and I don't want to mess around with that. Like if it doesn't fully dry out and I dried them for over 24 hours and it still wasn't like it was still sticky. And I'm just like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do that again. But I also can cherry pie filling and I've made cherry jam, a spiced cherry jam. So just something different. These are frozen blueberries. The okay. My my camera actually stopped on me. I had to fix that. Sorry. So blueberries, I do blueberry jam, blueberry syrup. Um, I can blueberry pie filling. So that's usually what I do with the blueberries. I also batch cook um, blueberry muffins and chocolate chip muffins on occasion. And so this is five pounds. That's five pounds. I've bought these so many times. They're really good. Um, over here I have, this is new for us. I have, what is it called? Here we go. It's the mozzarella cheese, famous North beach Italian style. Um, I figured because, you know, I usually do buy my cheeses in bulk. I just buy it, um, from Azure as well. This shows the date. Okay. So it shows the date that it was processed. I'm assuming it probably has a two month shelf life like the other cheeses as well. Um, so I'll, you know, use what I can in the meantime and then freeze the rest if I need to. And this is a raw milk cheddar cheese. Um, this I'm assuming as well has a two month shelf date, but, um, I have gotten that from them. Over, he over here, we have a gallon of molasses, old-fashioned. Um, I love using this for different baking recipes. Um, you can actually use it with chickens. I like to keep that on hand with the holidays. This is new to us. Um, Non-GMO chocolate rainbow drops. This is something I have not tried more so because of the price. It's pretty pricey, but I figured I'm not going to feel really guilty giving this to my kids. Um, it's something I'm going to definitely give a try. It's good till January 31st of 2024, five pounds. Um, yeah. And we do, you know, little ice cream sundaes and M&M cookies and all kinds of good things. This, I make our pancakes homemade every single day uh, or not every single day. We don't eat them every single day. Every other day, I'd say my kids love pancakes. They love waffles. I do French toast, casseroles, whatever. Everything I do is homemade, and sometimes you just don't have the time and you need convenience. So these are good. They're organic buckwheat pancake mix, 10 pounds. This is something that's new, but I've heard really great things on, so it's new for me, and um, I'm looking forward to giving it a try. My kids also, my girls are really starting to cook more. So that's something they can whip up themselves even. And my time can be going to something else um, in the mornings, getting us ready for our school day. We go through granola a lot. We do um, the vanilla Greek yogurt, the vanilla and honey from Sam's Club. And this is cherry vanilla granola. It's non-GMO. I got five pounds and I think it'll be a really good treat 
to add into our yogurt. And this is non-GMO maple pecan dream, pecan, pecan. I know someone's going to correct me. I, you know, pecan, pecan, tomato, tomato. Um, this is maple pecan dream and it just sounds really, really good. So I got that as well. And then I have three bags of these. These are 50 pound hard white wheat. This is mainly the grain that I use um, when I'm milling our wheat berries. And this is a staple in this house. This I don't ever let us get low on. This is something I just always keep on hand um, and it is in our pantry. So overall, this was over a thousand dollars for sure. Um, I'm looking forward to trying all the new things that we got. So I hope you enjoyed this Azure haul. Um, if you'd like to see more grocery hauls, we are about to do a Sam's Club haul and it's going to be huge. My husband took on a really big job and didn't get paid for two months. So we've eaten through a lot of what I had put back and I will actually make a video on that maybe I don't know I don't know what I want to share yet but um, we have a working pantry and we have a long-term pantry and I plan on doing a video I don't know if I'm gonna share what my pantry looks like and all the things but I'm definitely gonna be making a video on why it's important to have a working pantry and a long-term pantry. Hey, I hope you like, I hope you subscribe. I hope you become a member in this community. I'm hoping it becomes a community. Who knows? Maybe there's only going to be 30 views. I don't know. I'm like, I need to do this. This is something I wanted to do and I either do great at it and it's a success or I just get like 20 to 30 views on my videos and I'm not going to be offended. <laughs> so we'll see where this goes. And anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope you stay safe um, and healthy, and I hope to make more videos. Um, until then, take care. God bless.